Namaste and welcome to yet another session on our dance history and heritage. We have had many practitioners, many gurus, many teachers, many star dancers, but also the written word and the historicity of material is important. When you as students have to do your PhDs or masters or papers, you have to refer to books. Who are these people who have written these books for you to benefit from? These are the scholars of dance in any field, especially in the pedagogy. So today we take and speak about these scholars which have contributed to our understanding of the world of dance. We discuss in this session today scholars of Bharatanatyam and other art forms. Other than those who have physically taught the art form, many scholars researched thought and wrote about it, thus helping establish an art form. While gurus taught in classes and dancers danced and popularized an art form, it was these few scholars in last hundred years who have made an impact and made Bharatanatyam art form reach through essays, articles, books, films and documentation. There are main ones who are national names we have heard of and read their books. We think of big names in the ancient history whose works we are still using like Natya Shastra or Abhinay Darpana or treatises on the Rasa theory and in recent years of last 200, 100 years we have other scholars who have written in English thus bringing Sanskrit and ancient languages together amongst whom the names of Professor Samba Murthy and others like S. Sarda is well known. Periya Sarda, to distinguish her from Sarda Hoffman, the Chinna Sarda, was a very important scholar of the first generation, based at Kalakshetra, where she was attached to Rukni Devi's dance institution and she would notate the music and movements. Writing down the dance was inspirational work for Sarda Amma and her method is still followed in Kalakshetra 60-70 years after it was done. She is accepted widely everywhere and she has edited many volumes of Kalakshetra's dance annual and dance dramas along with Venkatachala Sastri and Adi Narayan Sarma. Among her numerous scholarly works and achievements is a resistance to Tiger Varadacharya the great music composer for productions like Kumar Sambhavam, Papanasam Sivan, the great composer for Andal Charitram, Kannapanar Kuruvanji, Geet Govindam, Shakuntala, Matsya Avataram and Kuruma Avataram. She has also worked with Balu Bhagavatar of the Melatu traditions and Kalyani Amal in edited Dhruva Charitram, Usha Parinayam and Rukmini Kalyanam and made it suitable for Rukmini Devi Arundel to set into productions. Sarda Amma helped edit and proofread publications of Papanasam Sivam, Veena Krishnamacharya and many others. She helped train first generation of students like Mohan Kokar and even senior scholars like Kapila Watson went to her to acquire knowledge in traditional literature and benefit from texts like Sangeet Ratnakara and Mela Ragmalika, both in Sanskrit, published by Adya Library and Research Center. She wrote Rukmini Devi's biography titled Kalakshetra, Rukmini Devi published by the Kala Mandir Trust and amongst her famous legion of first generation products and disciples are Kalanadi Narayan, Ji Sundari, Mohan Kokar and many others who benefited from her tutelage. Dr. Kapila Watson is a leading Indian scholar of Indian classical dance, Indian art and architecture and art historian. She learned Kathak and Manipuri and joined culture department under education ministry as a section officer under Prem Kripal. She controlled many decisions and patronage systems of Delhi cultural department at Shastri Bhavan 1970s and 1980s. She was the founding director of the Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts, Delhi. She is the author of several books including Dance Culture in Sarangapani Temple, Traditions of Indian Folk Dance, Indian Classical Dance, The Square and the Circle of Indian Arts, Dance in Indian Painting, Bharata the Natya Shastra, Classical Indian Dance and Asian Dance. 
She was associated with many organizations and has dominated the dance scene for decades. Professor Mohan Koker was a pioneering scholar, critic, historian, and collector. He was born to a military Sikh family, but a man immersed in arts. He was far ahead of his times, who developed deep insights, sound instincts, and sensitive responses vis-a-vis -vis the hallowed cultural heritage of the country. He acquired authority to discuss in depth the width, conviction, nuances of any classical dance form. Bharatanatyam, Kuchipudi, Kathakali, Yakshagan, Odissi, Kathak, Manipuri, Bhagavat Mela, etc. Due to his pan-Indian standing and outreach, at 25, he was appointed the head of the first dance department in the country, MS University, Baroda. He then became the special officer for dance at the Sangeet Nadak Academy, New Delhi, for 13 years, after which he became the secretary for five years. He wrote five monumental books, Traditions of Indian Classical Dance, Adhus in Bharatanatyam, Folk Dances, Splendors of Indian Dance, and Uday Shankar. He wrote dance criticisms for many distinguished papers, Indian and foreign. From 1958 to 1960, he collaborated with Dr. Mulk Rajanand in bringing out dance specials of the Marg. His illustrated note on Indian dances in the Encyclopedia Britannica was considered the best contribution from Asia. He produced two documentaries on Kathakali and Yakshagan for the University of Rome. As head of the Department of Dance at MS University, Baroda, he guided many PhDs and scholarships from America, France, Italy, Chinese, and of course, India. Mohan Koker served on UNESCO Commission for Dance. His greatest legacy to posterity is his priceless dance collection of archives which many prestigious institutions like New York Lincoln Center, Stockholm Dance Museum, Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts, Encyclopedia Britannica use as source material for their various projects. He will be remembered with gratitude and admiration for his unique dance documentation comprising more than 100,000 rare photographs. From his early years in Lahore, he saved papers and photographs of his varied activities and in spite of the partition of India and his family's subsequent migration to India, he managed to retain a fair amount of the material. A special section of paper material in the collection is the vast amount of correspondence between Mohan Koker and innumerable artists, scholars and gurus of the dance world. The Mohan Koker dance collection is now taken care of by his equally illustrious critic historian son, Professor Ashish Mohan Koker. E. Krishna Iyer was an Indian lawyer, freedom fighter, dancer and activist who was responsible for popularizing the dying art of Bharatanatyam in South India. His involvement with the Bharatanatyam revival movement began when he joined a theatrical company called Sugana Vilasa Sabha and learned Sadir, a sensuous and less respectful form of Bharatanatyam practiced by the Devdasis. E. Krishna Iyer founded the Madras Music Academy and teamed with Rukmini Devi to save the dance form from dying out. E. Krishna Iyer also patronized Carnatic music and wrote as an art critic for the Indian Express, Dinamani and Kalki. In the late 1920s and early 1930s, attempts were made to abolish the Devdasi system due to the efforts of the Mutalakshmi Reddy, the first woman to be elected to Madras Legislative Council. She also desired to do away with Sade due to its association with the Devdasi system and condemned notch performances in the presidency of Madras. E. Krishna Iyer vehemently protested against Muthulakshmi Reddy's attitude towards Sade in a series of letters published in the Madras Mail and sought to give the dance form a measure of respect by proposing a resolution at a 1932 meeting of the Madras Music Academy to reign in it Bharatanatyam. Through his exceptional writing skills, he induced the public to understand the aesthetic value of the dance. As a good educationist, he delivered a series of public lectures, including lecture demonstrations to educate people on the essence of dance. His book on dance titled Bharatanatya and Other Dances of India and one on music titled Personalities in Present Day Music are his two major works. Professor Mohan Koker was a pioneering scholar, critic, historian and collector. He was born to a military Sikh family, but a man immersed in arts. He was far ahead of his times who developed deep insights, sound instincts, and sensitive responses vis-a-vis -vis the hallowed 
cultural heritage of the country. As a youngster, he acquired authority to discuss in depth and with conviction the nuances of any classical dance form, be it be Bharatanatyam, Khujupudi, Kathakali, Yakshagan traditions, Odissi, Kathak, Manipuri, Bhagavat Mela Natakam, and many other forms of folk and ritual forms. Due to his pan Indian standing and outreach, at a young age of 25, he was appointed the first head of the first university in India, MS Maharaja Sahaji Rao University, Baroda, where he started the dance department. 1949 to 1963, he was with the Baroda University. He then became special officer for dance at Sangeet Natak Academy, New Delhi, for 13 years, after which he was also its officiating secretary for five years. Mohan Koker left five definitive volumes of work for Marg and many, many books which till date are very important reference material for dance historians, critics, students and researchers. Amongst the second generation of scholars, after the first generations of Periya Sarda, Professor Samba Murthy, Mohan Koker, Kapila Watson, we had the second generation of critics more than scholars like P. V. Subramaniam, Elias Subudu, as he was popularly called. Born in 1970, he passed away in 2007 and he helped document the history of many dancers and musicians. He wrote for almost 50 years. He had a Serbic wit, fearlessly bold comments, acidic with deep knowledge of music, made readers eager to read his views. He was a master of mathematics and music and thus his focus was on that. Dance was a byproduct. He was a performing arts critic and lived a life akin to a political journalist surviving death threats, physical assaults, lawsuits and tempting bribes with courage and humor. For someone who wielded tremendous influence in Delhi art scene because of his weekly column in the Statesman since 1950 and Chennai's art scene when he would visit and write for magazines like Ananda Vikatan, Kumudam and Indian Express, he had refined knowledge of Carnatic music and classical dance forms, especially the southern traditions. Subudu made sure his words and not the artists were remembered in his writings. Magazines and newspapers made sure they advertised Subudu's association with them well in advance. Subaru's rise on the Indian art scene ran parallel to the growth of Indian performing arts in post-independent India. The main reason for this was the democratization of arts. Subaru has left behind a legacy of words that had the power to make or unmake artists. Dr. B. M. Sundram is another leading dance historian and musicologist of South Indian dance and forms. Hailing from a traditional family of musicians that can be connected and traced back to over 40 generations, he has published extensively on the performance cultures and communities of South Indian artists. His research spans a broad range of methodologies from manuscripts, preservation and editing to ethnography. His tireless commitment to dance history in the Tanjore region has brought to light several path breaking works including Varna Swarajati, a unique text of Devdasi dance compositions. He is the author of major books on cultural history in South India, in Tamil including Tala Sangram, Compendium of Rhythmic Theory or Tala Sangram, which is a combination of how various thematic patterns in rhythm are used. Mangala Esai Manargal, the kings of ritual music, Marubu Thanda Manikhanga, woman who gave grave tradition, and Marubu Walli Per Sarangal, the great hereditary masters of the tradition. A book on Natunars, dance masters that conducted dance recitals and received a major award from Tamil Nadu state government. He has authored the only existing biographies of several prominent musicians of the late 19th century and the present one, including works on such greats 
as Nida Mangalam Minakshi Sundaram Pillai, to whom he is connected in a familial way, Tanjovar Vedanathan Iyer and Kanchipuram Nayana Pillai. He has also contributed a large number of scholarly works in English. G. Venkatachalam was an outstanding art critic of the pre-independence era. Born in 1895, Govindaraja Venkatachalam started his career as a journalist. He was for a time special art contributor to In New India, a daily newspaper which was being edited by Dr. Annie Besant. He was also assistant editor of two art journals, Theatre and Rupalekha. A regular contributor to various journals in India, America and Japan, he was the author of many well-known books on Indian life and art like The Mirror of Indian Art, Modern Indian Painters, Travel Diaries of Art Student, Daughters of the Dawn, Pen Pictures and Sketches, Unheard Melodies. His book Dance in India, a rather sketchy and personal take on dances and dance forms, served as base material for many before serious and in-depth books on dance came after independence. With the help of a grant from the Rockefeller Foundation, Ragini Devi wrote Dance Dialects of India, aimed at creating a deeper understanding and appreciation of the Indian dance and its cultural environment in India. In 1928, Ruk Ragni Devi published Nathanjali, an introduction to Indian dancer. The first book in English on Indian dance, Dancing in the Family, 2001, authored by her granddaughter Sukanya, is about her mother Indrani Rehman and grandmother Ragini. La Mary was an American ethnic dancer, choreographer, teacher, poet, and a scholar. She published a number of magazines, articles, and books, including the gesture language of Hindu dance and Spanish dancing. Usha Venkateshwaran, a student of Ramya Pillai and wife of former Foreign Secretary and a choreographer of note, has written on the life and times of La Mary, Queen of Ethnic Dances. Dutch dancer Saskia C. Kersenboom wrote Nitya Sumangali, Devdasi tradition of South Asia and about Devdasi participation and temple rituals, Devdasi repertoire, rites of passage through dance research work. Ram Gopal and Siroz Dadanchi have together authored Indian dancing. When Nalanathan cut down on his dancing, he started to review performances and wrote many articles with insight. His columns about the New York dance scene in Shruti and Rasamanjari magazine were eagerly awaited. He made a video called Dances of India. His language was lucid and honest, descriptive and erudite, always interesting and never pedantic. He was one of the few dancers who made this successful switch to dance writing without sounding cynical or bitter. Nala's writing was scholarly and he wrote extensive private research notes. Dr. V. Raghavan, 1908-1979, was a Sanskrit scholar and musicologist. He took his MA in Sanskrit language and literature with comparative philology and four schools of Indian philosophy under Professor S. Kupuswami Sastri specialized in Alamkara and Natya Shastras and Sanskrit aesthetics and earned his doctorate in 1935 from Professor S. Levi, F. W. Thomas and A. B. Keith, studied Sanskrit on traditional lines also and won medals and prizes for Sanskrit speaking and writing. He authored several books on music and on aesthetics in, in Sanskrit literature. He is the author of about 120 works and over 1200 research papers in the field of Sanskrit and Indological research. Malvikagnamitra Act II, with special reference to Malvika's dance, 1964-65, South Indian Dance and Dance Dramas in 64-65, Sri Narayan Tirtha in 65, An Introduction to Indian Poetics in 1970, Natya Kalai, Tamil in 1974, Ramayana Tradition Asia 1980, Abhinav Gupta and his works 1981, Kavya Nataka Samgraha 2002, Splendors of Indian Dance, 2004, etc., some of his many works. His monumental work, Bhoja Sringara Prakasa, 1962, a treatise in 36 chapter dealing with both poetics and dramaturgy, is the largest known work in Sanskrit literary criticisms and aesthetics. For this work and his commentary, he won the Sahitya Academy Award for Sanskrit in 1966. It was later published as Volume 53, of the Harvard Oriental series in 1998. In the third generation and continuity of these scholars from South, we have some in North India like Shanta Sabjit Singh after Subaru, who is a senior arts columnist and critic 
author and cultural activist. She has served for more than 25-30 years as columnist, critic and media analyst for the Hindustan Times, the Economic Times and the whole group of India's most important mainstream dailies in English language. As elected chairperson of APAN, Association of Performing Arts of Southeast Asia, she has individually organized and helped the international symposium and festivals in several Asian countries. Her publications include Indian Dance, The Ultimate Metaphor, The 50th Milestone, A Feminine Critique to Mark India's 50th Anniversary of Independence, Nanak, The Guru, and America and You, which went into 22 editions. She is also an editorial board of attendance, India's only yearbook on dance, published and edited by Ashish Mohan Koker, and she has published for United States Information Services India. Shanta Sabjit Singh remains a very important benchmark in old India and new India in bringing the sensibilities and sensitivities of traditional arts to understanding and metro India. She has contributed significantly and enhanced the body of work and her craftsmanship of writing itself is most admirable. In the works of such writers like Leela Venkatraman, Tapati Chaudhary, Shyam Hari Chakra, Sunil Kothari, many others who are working in vernacular press, body of work of dance has been added and enhanced. Mm -hmm.